We got an OU battle. BCAM091 versus Charmander2416. This is BCAM091 and Canal Ninja. So this uh, this battle I had on a stream that I had not too long ago. And this is against a real loyal fan. Uh, let's see how he does. Let's get this battle going. Yeah, so like BCAM said, this is one of our streams. We'll be having plenty of them in the near future. Um, and, of course, Canal Ninja battles. So stick around for that stuff. So yeah, uh, here comes the battle. MLG, uh. And here comes the battle. So I'm going to lead off with my uh, my Starmie while he lights out with his Dragonite. And uh, I lit off with Starmie because I figured half the thing on his team could like easily destroy a Chiaotzu. So I didn't want to lead off with my Chiaotzu. Yeah, definitely don't want to lead off with Chiaotzu. And the shitty thing is he lit off with his Dragonite, so I'm forced to go straight for the Ice Beam to break his multi-scale. But luckily for me, I get that crit! Guess what? It's a crit! So that was a game changing stream crit, uh, so I actually hope for that crit. And here's uh, some really next level pain for B cams. Alright, right, so one. this is absolutely weird. I have no idea why B cam switched out. This thing is fighting and psychic, and Starmie resists both of its stab moves. And he's gonna go for the bulk up on the switch into Chatsu! Well, Chatsu's gonna go for that body slam! Well, obviously he had some kind of plan. I don't know why he'd bring it on a Starmie if he didn't have a plan, so I didn't want to just throw my Starmie away. Maybe maybe his plan was bulk up, bulk up again, then go for the Shadow Sink. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. I could have just stayed on Starmie and ended this thing, but unfortunately for me, I'm just completely screwed by this thing. Yeah. Anyways, so let's get to the thing. I'm trying to go for that Para Flinch and. This God, is some just, really just fucked not up working. shit. It's not working. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> God, I'm putting up tilt right now. So I, no I, I go for Iron Head about two or three more times. I don't get a flinch, and he never gets paralyzed. He literally doesn't spoiler get paralyzed alert. at all. Uh, I'm sorry for the spoilers, guys, but here we go. So I'm gonna Iron Head here. He's gonna what? do a decent chunk even after bulk ups. But see, he doesn't get paralyzed. He doesn't get flinched, and that's the demise for me. That is. So, like a numb nuts, I don't think I don't even think about not being. <laughs> you got, you got, you got smashed. So like a numb nuts, I don't think about being in range of shadow sneak. So I decided to just keep going for iron heads, and I, as soon as he goes to shadow sneak, I realize no, no. I'm never gonna get my rocks up. Chatsu. Chatsu. <laughs> so I finally change his name to Chatsu, and he does me dirty by not getting any flinches. Yeah, maybe so, it's karma. So here I'm hoping for know. a paralyzed so I get my rocks up, but you know, this thing never gets paralyzed. Not once. Not once. Uh, good for you, mate. Good for you. <laughs> so Charmander, looks like he's gonna start off with that early 5-0 five, uh, sweep. So I bring in Dragon Tail, not knowing his last move. So if you guys don't know, Gallade is a specially defensive bulky motherfucker. He goes ham on that shit. And he has plus two. So, and, and guess he, what? He got that ice punch. So basically, I just wasted uh, uh, this Dragonite. I could have at least gotten one outrage to do some decent damage to him. And here, I didn't. I was like, "What? What good is an extreme speed? Extreme speed gonna do to him? He's it's, plus two. Yeah, it's probably so I decided, you know, I'm just gonna maybe. Bang. I might as well have the chance that he gets paralyzed and get outraged than so do nothing God, with extreme speed. This thing is going ham on B cam. So God. Absolutely ridiculous! So look, guess what? <laughs> look how much this plus two Shadow Sneak does. It does a little bit over half, meaning I could have just stayed in and just pumped the shit out of this thing. Because this Hydro Pump's going to be a, probably a three hit KO from there. Uh, uh, maybe not. Not with Love Doors. Four hit KO. Yeah, so basically, this guy laid pretty much put me on tilt this entire match. This guy laid waste on you. So, he still hasn't gotten paralyzed, guys. Have you seen this shit? He's been paralyzed Might for Might as least... well not be paralyzed. <laughs> I know. It's the same thing. He's been paralyzed for at least 9 or 10 turns. And he Dude, has... this guy's going hard as a motherfucker right now. Yeah, this guy's going ham. Yeah. So anyways, now I just bring in it's fine, the Randorosu. It's, it's fine. not fine at all. I just go for an Earthquake. Hopefully, it'll do some damage. And yeah. to my surprise, this Earthquake does massive damage. Yeah, after a plus two, it so does I could, a lot. So looking at that, I, I could just outrage the shit out of him. I have thing. no idea what happened here. I think this guy actually felt sorry for poor BKM. He goes for a Drain Punch over the Ice Punch. I think he just wanted to gain some HP. So he Next level rubbins. He wanted to gain some HP so he get Revenge Cut, I think. Nah, I guess, maybe. But it's Ooh. not going to help, so I'm just going to take him more with Earthquake. I am fine. Okay, so guys, I, I didn't do a count there. Paralyzed. You guys count for me. How many turns was that? That was bullshit. Where's the Hex? So anyways, uh, I go Where for Earthquake, and it doesn't kill. It still doesn't kill. And guess if what? He's going to go for that big Frosty. 
That 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 earthquake not killing was actually that slush puppy. was actually very huge because if I'd still had my Renderosu, it might have this match could have turned out a lot different. It may have been fine. So, anyways, I'm down two to five right now. So I got one. I got two Pokemon. So I need to make an epic pro compact like Beacon does. So I'm just gonna start off with the extreme speed because uh, you know Shadow Sneak is not gonna do anything anyway. But I don't want to take but extra come on, damage because of life too. So he goes into Viridian here, and I can't really. Staying on this Viridian, so I go we right back. We just to... can't be throwing away Pokemon in the slot. So this is my, these are my last two: King Chile, which is Latios, and my Lucario. So he's gonna go for the Focus Blast, he and of course he's gonna, gonna miss. And I'm going gonna straight miss. for the Psychic here because I need to kill that thing. And I know he has his Heat Train, and I know I'm pretty much screwed right here. So what I have to do right now is I stay in to see what kind of Heat Train this is. If it's an offensive one, I'm pretty much dead. So I go for T Bolt. And to my dismay, this T-Bolt does jack shit. Oh my god, that It does a little bit more nothing. than Psychic did, which is embarrassing. Guys, if you see a Heatran, it's specially defensive. I don't care what your so mama right told here, you. So right here, I saw him go for Lava defensive. Plume. So I'm assuming he's not going to go for Lava Plume again because it did nothing. He was expecting my uh, Lucario to come in. So I'm expecting the Toxic right here. And guess what? He goes straight for the Toxic. Goes for that big Toxic. So I predicted pretty well. So the only way I'm going to win this match is if I go some next level predictions. So I'm just going to spam the close combat as Why he not? brings in his Gliscor. And I'm not worried about Gliscor at all, unless it's an offensive Gliscor with max speed, because he barely outspeeds me by like 10. But uh, it's not the, it's not the case. Uh, after this turn, you'll see he's going to get that Poison Heal, which means he's bulky. And he's got that Poison. There's a the Poison Heal. And, you know, he goes from Protect to see if I got that Ice Move, which I do. Obviously, I always got that Ice Move. <laughs> of course yeah. I got the Ice Move. And this guy's a little subscriber, so this guy probably knows this set. Yeah, so I just go for another HP ice. Uh, so, I right think here? I think he's expecting me to predict the Heatran to come in and or, go for a close combat. Wait, or is the Virizion still alive? His Virizion still alive, but the Viz I went for ice cream knowing that Virizion would take at least a chunk from that. Maybe. Maybe. And now he goes straight back into Virizion, and here I'm predicting him to want to go for like an I don't know anything but a f like an actual move to kill my Lucario, and he just goes for Calm Mind. Uh, on my uh, Latio switch, which is which I guess is okay, but it's still silly because it's not like this thing can touch Latios anyway. He had the switch anyway, and I just go for the close combat, get massive damage. God, that did way too much. That this thing has no defense yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, this thing did way no defense. I'm not surprised at that at all. Lucario is a monster. So my stab close combat almost takes it out, even though he resists it. He resists it, right? No, he doesn't. Resist oh, he doesn't resist it. It's no. neutral. Where am I? I thought this was delayed. But anyways, my stab close combat nearly killed. I stayed in. And now here's uh, the game changing play. This is well, it pretty much wasn't game changing, play. but you know, and there's absolutely, there's almost no way you can predict this. So he's gonna go for the Swords Dance on the switch. Yeah. B camp switched because he had a minus, he had minus defense drops, so he didn't want him to just straight off go for the bullet punch and KO. So my only uh, option here was to be able to take a bullet punch and then kill this thing with a like a gun or Omega crit close combat. <laughs> so. I switch back in, and here, he's doubtful that the full punch will kill from there, so he just <laughs> doesn't go for it. He goes for super power, and that's gonna bite him in the ass because this is obviously so gonna, gonna kill. go for the. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Close combat does not kill. Take life or recoil. Not like it so matters. So he goes for the rub and super power. Super power. Uh, if that close combat would have killed, it would have been my game. But this was a really sweet game. Um, God, that was just way too massive. It was funny. My opponent accidentally brought that Gallade, he said, and the Gallade ended up tossing my salad and cost me the game because BKM's dumb and I let him set up on me. That's what he But, happens. you know, I thought I could hack the shit out of him, but it didn't work out that way. Yeah, so actually that was a really good game. Yeah, BKM lost, but come on. He's going to make up for it soon. I'm going to make up for it soon. More battles to come. It's going to be epic. It's going to be MLG. It's all that shit. So anyways... MLG. Uh, we're going to go to VGCs. Hopefully, we're going to get some really sweet ass battles with some good YouTubers like that Shofu is and very true. other people like that. And uh, another thing, guys, uh, I like to thank uh, Cal Silencer 08. Oh yeah, for our intro. He intro gave song. us the intro song. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. So don't forget, guys, go ahead and post some more intro songs. And yeah. uh, and you know, if you like a song that someone posts, go ahead and give it a like. It'll make our decisions a little easier. Yeah, that way it'll show up in the very top of our comments, and we can just go ahead and click that one. And thank you, Charmander, for battling. Uh, it was a really legit battle. Yeah, we're we're actually really happy that we have some really, uh, really cool people out there that actually have been watching our battles for so long—a year. Come on, that's that's crazy. MLG status. High five. Yeah. High five. Uh, 
Peace out, guys. Uh, that wasn't Charmander who was watching for a year. Well, he may have been, but it was actually, a guy. It was actually another guy. Uh, but, you know, All MLG. Right. All right. <laughs> MLG! MLG! <laughs> <laughs>